another hot topic today. Please welcome Dr. Karen Gordon. We are talking about what the viewers wanted. So TD and City asked what you wanted to see on City Line today, and we hear you. This week you wanted to know why people cheat. Okay, remember to visit our website at cityline.ca to vote on next week's segment, segment, which is really cool. They get a say. And for your chance to win with TD. So let's get into the down and dirty of oh it, Karen. Oh, my goodness. Why do people cheat? It's a fascinating topic, as per usual. Our yeah. conversations always start in the makeup room. Oh my goodness. And Everyone's you know you've got an opinion. And you know we're gonna have a good topic about this, a good segment, when there's like this buzz that's happening. We all have an opinion with what, in terms of why. Yeah, well it is yeah. interesting. What is your first reason, uh, or your first point as to why people cheat? My first, okay, so uh, there's a lot. And you know what, and it's actually very interesting. When I actually had a prep and I was kind of putting my notes together for this, I didn't have to do a lot of research. All I had to do was think about people that I've known, people, colleagues, friends, family members, yep. clients, and it's like, okay, here we go. And this is like just the top seven that I could actually think of. So first one is actually opportunity. Yeah. It's opportunity. They, it was not something that somebody planned. It was not, ex, you know, ex Expected. It was, you know, they were working late or they were working with somebody. A lot of times, a lot of uh, affairs actually happen actually at the office. Yes. Or, right? So um, it was just an opportunity and they took it. It presented itself and they it took it. Itself. So may I present to you Hollywood's yes, royal couple I know. of Brad and Angelina. This is from Us Weekly. So uh, next issue, you get all these magazine yep. subscriptions. Us Weekly is one of them. And these two are regaled as major, as royalty in Hollywood. You know, know what? They're cheaters. <laughs> They're adulterers. Yes. Basically, Brad Pitt left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina because of opportunity. You're and on movie sets. Were you you're surprised seeing when that actually all, when, when they actually had their affair? Do you, were you actually surprised? Because I was surprised. I'm always a little bit surprised, but there's part of me that's so skeptical. It's like if you have a Hollywood yeah. marriage, yeah. I think that you are so open. You're seeing so many beautiful people mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. It's intense. Mm -hmm. You're gonna cheat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my whole thing is we almost need to do another show around how to prevent yourself not to cheat. I was actually yeah. thinking about that, right? Like, how do you actually protect yourself? Because we're all going to have an opportunity at some point right. to, to cheat. If you and let yourself if, go If you let yourself road. go there. And so I think you have to almost be almost proactive going, what am I going to do to make sure I don't, like almost kind of set up your boundaries ahead of time. Okay. So, but anyway, I would say opportunity would be probably one of the most important ones. Your second one is uh, people will cheat instead of divorcing for the kids. So they think this way they can have the best of both worlds. Yeah, this is becoming more popular, actually. You know, divorce, it is. It's actually becoming more it's popular. It's a popular it's a, move. It's a little bit of a trend we're seeing. Uh, and again, none of these I would agree with. These are just reasons why. Yeah, it's uh, happening. It's happening. But, um, you know, divorce is extremely expensive. It, you know, uh, financially is expensive. It just tears families apart. And so I've, I've been hearing that from more people. Well, you know what? It's just so difficult, so painful. Let's just stay together for the sake of the kids until they kind of get out of high school. But then we're just going to cheat in between. And sometimes it's a mutual, it's a mutual decision. So they're both cheating. That it's not really cheating anymore. It's an understanding. It's kind of an understanding. It's an open marriage yes, at that point. It is point. at that point an open marriage, but sometimes it usually starts with one person cheating and then the other one actually follows suit. So Sounds healthy. Well, <laughs> yes. None of these none of these are healthy. These are just reasons why. To yeah. feel attractive and alive. So people are looking for a little bit of excitement. Yes. We all know the day-to-day -day life. Yeah. It's not like yeah. uh, it's not like a made-for-TV movie. Right. Day-to-day -day life, yeah. there's a lot of minutia you have to get through. Yeah. There's a lot of laundry and dishes. A lot Sometimes, of jobs, a lot of work. There's a lot of work. Sometimes people right. are looking for an escape. Yeah. So this would be kind of the third one, which is that they just, you know, when you're in a relationship, let's be honest, like relationships are hard. I actually think that marriage is the hardest type of relationship mm -hmm. by far. It's the most intense, it's the most loving, and it's the most difficult, and it's, it's the most work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. So uh, when people actually hit that kind of the, the, that, that work, it's a lot easier just to kind of go out and have a party. So I think a lot of times what happens is people are attracted to just, it's easy, it's, it's fun, somebody's actually kind of always catering to you, they're giving you what they want. Yeah. And I see this happening in both men and women. This is not just a, a lot of times we think of it as just a female thing. And by the way, I do see a massive trend on women having more affairs. This is no longer, mm. like before it used to be always like the guys are the cheater. Yeah. I don't see that anymore. I say it's almost 50-50. Do you think that's about more women being in the workplace? Possibly. Yeah, and, and the, also the stress levels. But and also, it's being a power away. issue. I mean, the thing about cheating is that the cheating is not the promise of symptom of something else. Right. There's a problem. There's a problem either within the person or yeah. in the relationship. And so, the cheating is not really the issue. It's mm -hmm. just the symptom that with what actually somebody's actually going to. But what if you're 100% happy in your relationship? You know, like I was saying earlier, if you are a professional athlete and yeah. you are constantly being exposed to the opposite yeah. sex, and they want to be with you, and yeah. they will do anything to be with you, yeah. you're perfectly happy with. 
with your marriage, yeah. but you see these options everywhere. Yeah. Is there really yeah. a problem happening with you? So it's, or a, is it just it's so an issue easy, that within the person, you? but it's within their person in terms of their own value system and in terms okay. of, it's, it's almost a personal issue. It's less of a relationship issue, it's more of a personal issue. Okay. So in terms of their own values, their sense of integrity, their sense of honesty, their sense of discipline, mm. their sense of actually putting themselves out there. I mean, the bottom line is we're all going to be tempted, mm -hmm. but we're not all going to cheat. And right. that's the difference. Yeah, right? what is the difference so between the be person the that goes right. for it and the person that doesn't? Yeah. Okay, revenge. Oh, this one sounds juicy. It is. So yes. cheating for revenge. Yeah, and I've, I've seen this multiple times where one person's cheated and all of a sudden the other one's like, okay, you know what, you're gonna do that to me? Oh yeah, well I'm gonna go do it back to, back to you. And all of a sudden it's kind of like, uh, hello, <laughs> what's, the, what's going on here? Right, really, I mean they kind of like, and so anyway, it doesn't make any sense, but that yeah. is again one of the, and again, it's a lot of times it's around power. Yeah. A person feels like their power's been taken away, so a sense of revenge helps them to kind of feel like they can kind of get it back. It's a cheating competition. Kind Who's going to win? I know. The I know. marriage will not win. No. No, it no. won't. Okay, we're going to continue okay. uh, on this track later on in the show. Let's go to break. Stay with us. <laughs>